Please excuse the interruption for a very brief announcement. Hello, Bayville School families, students, parents. This is Mr. Conforti. I'm just uh, reaching out to you, hoping that everybody's doing well. Hopefully everybody's safe. Mr. Reader and I just were talking, and he also would like to say hello to everybody, make sure everyone's doing well. Um, parents, what I wanted to do real quickly was show you Google Classroom. If this is something that you're familiar with and your students have been using it in the past, you are more than likely to stop listening to me now, and that is okay. If it's something that is new to you, I wanted to just basically show you what it is and uh, kind of give you the Cliff Notes version of how to log in and, and get yourself and your child accustomed to what could be a new way of communicating between the teachers and yourselves and your students. First thing is you're going to receive an email. There will be a link to Google Classroom. You can click on that link. If you don't get the link for some strange reason, all you basically needed to do is you're going to open up a browser. You can just type in Google Classroom. I already have it up here. And then you just click on one of these links and this is going to drop you right to where Google Classroom is. Now, these are all the different classrooms I'm part of, but as a parent, the one thing I would want to do is I want to come up here to the plus sign. I'm going to click on the plus and then I'm going to join a class. And that code that was originally given to you that was shared by the teacher, you can just copy and paste it, take it right from there and drop it right in here. Click join and then your student will be part of the class. This is an example of what a class site would look like. So it would be the teacher's name is going to be located here. You're going to have four things across the top that are important to look at. Your stream, your classwork, people, and grades. And we're going to talk about all of these. But just to refresh one thing that we did talk about, this time right now is for review and retention of information. So basically what the teachers are going to be sharing is information to make sure that your student is kind of keeping level from where they were when they left school. Okay. So stream is just that. It's a stream. It almost looks like what your Facebook would look like. So the teacher can type anything that they want in here. And as it starts building, you'll see it's something they can scan down towards. Um, during the stream, one of the things is you can communicate back and forth. So the teacher can ask, I'm going to, that is my dog knocking at the back door. I do have to let her in or she'll do that the whole time. Sorry for that. So there are going to be times when the teachers want to have communications with the students. So I could say good morning. I'm hoping everyone is having a great day. And anybody else could say, and it would post, and we would just have a long stream of communication between the students. So the teachers can actually be interacting with the children now a little bit more than we have been doing in the past. Anything that's posted, such as classwork, would also pop up in here. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Upcoming, that would mean if the teachers were to set a deadline on something, then it would pop up on the left-hand side here showing you that something is due. But at this time, we are not putting deadlines on any information that's being shared with the students. Once again, this is only a way for teachers to share information with the children. We are not grading any information at this point in time, nor are we putting deadlines on anything yet. Classwork would be where the teachers can push information out to the students. So at any point in time, you could see an assignment pushed out from a teacher. There could be a question, maybe some material. And once again, like I said, quiz is not something we would be utilizing, but it is part of the program. Anything that's populated in here would be coming up on this section as well, would be showing that Mr. Conforti put work into classwork. So then the students would know to go over here and find the work, and then that's how they would be able to access it. People, that is just what it sounds like. The teacher would be up top and then any students who are part of the group would be located down here. And grades, like I said, is not something that we're using. Parents, I hope this little refresher course or this little introduction helps you navigate the waters of signing yourself up. Like I said in the beginning, Mr. Reader and I are hoping that everybody is safe. Everybody is um, ex having a good time experimenting with this new virtual learning. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to first reach out to the classroom teacher. She may have the answers for you. If they do not, always you can reach out to Mr. Reader and myself. We are available through our email. We're trying our best to communicate right back with the parents. Also, we are checking the phones at the school daily. So if there's anything that you need, please reach out to the school and let us know. And we'll be sure to get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Have a great day.